Hi everyone, welcome to X's and O's with Leroy Butler. And we're going to try to sift through the carnage from uh, Sunday <laughs> night. And yeah. we'll start with this play. Now, I think this is sort of a microcosm of, mm. you know, their struggles on offense. This is a play in which um, it's third and three, yeah. which you want to remind Aaron Rodgers several times that it's third and three, yeah, right? I really think that he may have forgotten. I mean, because I think when we're in a competitive nature, we're always looking for the, the 65-yard plays, the 75-yard plays, the 80-yard plays. We forget about the third and three. Just move the chains. Right. And we're going to show an opportunity. He had a couple opportunities to do that, and he didn't pull the trigger. Yeah, and I, I'll set up um, essentially the Giants. Um, Giants are on defense, and it mm -hmm. looks like a cover one. But or cover three with the two corners outside and the safety in yep. the middle. Mm -hmm. But at the snap or just before the snap, they rotate into their cover two, mm -hmm. um, which they played almost the entire night. Hey, well, and the reason why Jordy Nelson a long one. Exactly. Yeah. Well, once Jordy Nelson scored that long one, they were out of it. Right. So, okay, now, you know, when you're in this cover two, you essentially have two guys over the top, and you got one, two, three, four, five, six guys because they're playing their defensive end right. underneath. This is Justin Tuck here. So why don't you show what the and routes the, were? And, and, the, and the wrinkle to that, Tom, once you set up, and it's a good way you set this up, how they disguise. So if you're a quarterback, you've seen this before. Yeah, right. But when they did, they did cover two, you're right with the two safeties, but they played man underneath, which also lets you know that you're going to have opportunities and you look for the matchups. But Cobbs tend to be the number one target guy in this particular route. Right. They like to work yeah. the middle because it's harder right. and harder two to work the sidelines, right. right? And I think Cobb ran, he ran a very good route. He mm -hmm. came up and ran what we call a pivot and came outside. He was open. Again, third and three. So Rodgers can't get him the ball. Right. Now, Jordan Nelson worked this guy Webster and came out. He was open, right. but it was a, it was a far Took throw. a little longer. Yeah. Yes, but now the protection, you literally, Tom, you got possibly three guys following Jermichael Finley. Yeah, now we, yeah. we talk about how, you know, we always say, you know, Finley draws a lot of attention. Yes. And <laughs> this this is really, really prime example of yes. why they don't want him beating them in the middle of the field. Right, especially on cover, too, because remember that middle field is wide open. Yeah. Now, remember, yeah. this is a defensive line. Yeah, that's Justin, Justin Tuck. Tuck. He's, right. So if you look at the protection, you're thinking, you got five guys on three. He should have time to throw the football. Yeah, right. So when Jermichael came off, he got jammed there, and now you got a guy waiting for him deep, and you got the safety over the top. So in this protection, Lane gets turned. The way it's almost, you know, just not far enough. Sitting comes to help him, you know, with Canty. So they're just like three guys turning there. When Tuck jams um, Jermichael Finley, he delayed and he came. Now right. Saturday has to come off to help here. And he did. He yeah, he did. Him up. He and now him up. Evan Dedrick Smith is one on one with 97, who broke, and yeah. that's what Roger saw. Now Saturday. Did a pretty good job he did, here. He doubled, did a great job. And then he came over. Then he came over. But, but Evan Dietrich Smith never squ really squared up enough right. to, to keep. And Newhouse actually did a pretty good job Very here. Very good job. So he's fine right there. So at that particular point, now you got Kuhn that came out and helped with uh, Newhouse. Tom, he leaked right there. Right. And he was open. And the linebacker came out here. Right. So you know, he would have had to beat that guy to the first down, but right. he would have had a chance. But he would have had a chance. And, and Jones came up. And what happened, I think all the list, all the viewers know what happened. Rodgers came back, he looked here, looked here, then he started to scramble, and 99 caught him and barely clipped one him hand. at the end. Yeah, one yeah. hand. Now, let's look at what his options were. As we were looking at it, yeah. he's right here. Now, this guy is starting to come free, but he's yes. got his feet set. Yep. He, he looked left first. Right. We don't know if he was, he might have been looking at this guy to see if it was going to cover two. Right? Yes, yes, and that's a possibility because you see you got trip to this side. You look at James Jones, do you like that matchup? He right. didn't like it at first. He looked, oh, I don't like it. And when he, he came, saw the safety rotate. You saw this, after he saw the matchup, I didn't like it. Now you're always oh, in cover two, man. You go back to your target here. And if you, even if you don't make these throws, you got to get it to the check down. That's cool. Right. Or run it. Just run the ball. Most quarterbacks used to hurt us in 1996 in our defense. Or wherever we were in two, man. Quarterbacks who can run the ball like Aaron Rodgers, they just take off because nobody is spying them. Because remember, their spy guy, 
He came and rushed. Right, and they're all in, the underneath guys are in man to man, so man. their backs are to yes. it. And that's essentially what he tried to do. He mm -hmm. did eventually try to run, but if it's it's almost as though you know he's looking for something more than just getting yes. the first down. Yeah. He's, you know, because this throw to Cobb was there. If he puts it, it out was here, there. It was there. It's there. Um, and I know a lot of people say, Tom, they just yell at the offensive line, and because it, it's easy to see sacks. Yeah. The number totals go up. But when you look deep into it, it all has to work together. They have to give Rodgers enough time to go to a second and third option. But at the same time, Rodgers has to pull the trigger. And just think about, again, third and three. Keep the chains moving. Because yeah. you're going to have opportunities. And, and ultimately what happened here was they didn't get the first down. They went and decided to go for that 55-yard mm -hmm. field goal. They don't get it. And then yeah. the Giants march down, and they're mm -hmm. up 14-7. And, you know, it's it's like that was a key first down. Right. Get the first down. And I don't yeah. know if that's something they have to hammer into Rogers' head or, you know, um, if there's something, you know, that's just wrong about what they're mm -hmm. planning. I don't know. But it is something they got to figure if, out, right? If it was me talking to them as a quarterback's coach, I would remind them of down the distance, and it's in your hands. I trust what you do. Mm -hmm. Whether you make good or bad decisions, doesn't matter at that particular point, but always know where the sticks are. Aaron, keep the sticks moving. I can give you more opportunities if we just get the first down. If it's four yards, that's fine. We can line up again. But what we can't have is sacks, and we can't have missed field goals at 55 yards. Yeah. So I would just instill in him that we, have his, we got his back, but at the same time, it's in your hands to keep the sticks moving. And I could, I could be totally screwed up on this, but I, I would think that by making this completion or this mm -hmm. completion, yeah. you're showing that you can compete against this defense, this man right. under. There is uh, no formula to stop me. You know, because people right. think it's just cover two. Right. It's it starts not to get in your head that you, right. can't, you can't get a first down on you, You're right. You're exactly right. I think the mental part of it, of Aaron, he can destroy cover two. Trust me. I can show you plays he can destroy it. But you have to be patient enough to know down in distance and know that you are the number one quarterback in the league. But when people see these kind of plays, they question that. So don't be sensitive about it. Just step up and learn about it and understand that get the first down and let's keep moving. I think you'll be fine. Okay. And yeah. next we're going to look at how badly uh, the Packers miss Charles Woodson in some situations. Yeah, in the defense. Okay, back to the carnage, and we're going to look at defense now. And this is, we're going to show two different plays that MD mm -hmm. Jennings showed his inexperience. Yeah. And if there's a reason why uh, they need Charles Woodson back, this would be mm -hmm. it. Now, you know, they've done a really nice job of Casey Hayward doing, covering the slot. But this is where ex mm -hmm. um, Woodson's experience would yeah. show. But prior to this play, we're going to show you this play, but prior to mm. this play, M.D. Jennings had gotten beat along with Devon House on, mm. what was the route you called it? Well, we called it uh, Fox 2 XY hook, to where it's a fake by the quarterback, but the tight end runs up, and he'll stop right in front of the safety, and right. he'll hook up. And in this case, he was back here. He was back there, and the tight end came, stopped in his face, and this guy worked 31, house, he was wide open for a touchdown. Right, and he should have right. been back here. And he should have been. You got to let the middle linebacker the handle The middle linebacker that. handle, yeah. too. Right. So but in this particular play. Yeah, now this play is a little different. They're down yes. at the nine-yard line, mm -hmm. and you've got Victor Cruz over here, right. Randall over here, and Hakeem Nix here. And, and we just, call this a, a, a drive route, but yeah. it turns into what they we call a jerk Nicks route. They over here. Okay, right. go right ahead. Yeah, it's what we used to call a, a flank of drive. You know, Sterling Sharp, you know, Jerry Rice, all these guys. And a tight yeah. end, really, is just to come up and make it crowded. So if you're McMillan, I take this, take this guy. Now, it, if you're 43 MD Jennings, I'm going to double the first guy inside, Tom. Okay. The first guy comes in, I don't care if it's 82 or 80. Well, Cruz came up and gave him a little hesitation and got across his face. Now, even if the guy goes back, that's fine. He goes back to Hayward sitting there waiting on him. But he hesitated and he was too deep, made a good throw for Manny who hadn't thrown a touchdown in 99 passes, you know, right there for a touchdown. Yeah, and... and he and got to attack that Jennings route. was behind him. Yes. And there's no reason because mm -hmm. he's got Hayward. And, and looking from what we could see, Hayward mm -hmm. played a 
right as he always yes. does. Yes. You know, he was ready for this little stutter step, and he would have taken him to the corner. You got three guys on two, or you got four guys on three. Yeah. So you got an extra guy sitting high, what we call sit heavy. When I say sit heavy, that means nobody can cross your face that can make you extend. Right. You got it, the first guy coming. You got to drive that route. It has to be a collision right here. Right. And if Woods, I, my guess is if this is Woods, oh, it's jumped. He's he's moving across <laughs> and he's ready to jump yeah. right in and front it, of that. And I'm gonna tell you something, Manny may throw you that pass because remember his coming into this game, he wasn't playing very well. Yeah. He may throw you that. You know, Jennings just had a, a pick six against Detroit. He should have enough confidence. To, and they've had this route on film. As a matter of fact, right. the Giants run in the red zone all the time. He should know in this film study that Victor Cruz, they want to get him the ball coming across, sit heavy, and drive that ball for the interception. Yeah. I think an interesting mm -hmm. thing we might see when Woodson comes back is that they just mm -hmm. keep him at safety full time. Mm -hmm. Let let Hayward play the slot, mm -hmm. you know, so Woodson can kind of, you know, work his right. stuff in there um, because he just, he, he can't, he's not as good in coverage mm -hmm. in these slot receivers as Casey I want to make a bold statement right yes. now. Casey Hayward in zone may be the best in the league. If you go back, all the nickelbacks in the entire league, all the veterans, doesn't matter. This guy's more football savvy than I've ever seen a rookie. And Joe Witt, his coach, has worked with him time and time again and watching Woodson. And I have to get a coach at Green Bay Packers credit for getting this kid ready to play. Now, he doesn't have great foot speed. Mm -hmm. But if you go back and look in college and look what he was good at and what he wasn't good at, he knows football. Right. I will keep him in a lot of this zone right here. He's going to get a lot. Not only is I'm not surprised at interceptions, but he understands not to get overextended because this guy may come back out. Right, right. How many times have we seen a guy run in and come back out and he's wide open? Right. He never moved. Yeah. He's a smart guy. Yeah. yeah, definitely. Okay, well, thanks for joining us for our X's and O's, and we will be back after the Vikings game next week. And you can follow me on Twitter at Leap36 as well as Facebook at Leap36.